I had cold coffee uh, yesterday, a Dunkin' Donuts cold brew K cup. I actually, you, you're, supposed, you're supposed to be meant to be for cold. You're right. It does taste like they make it for that. So I have that. Right. Because when my cup is half full and it's cold, it's not good. It's just not great. <laughs> good oh. morning, sunshine. Good morning. Um, I woke up to one of my Twitter accounts suspended. I have no idea why. Wow. What Eight did you do? Years. Nothing. Eight years. And it's now all of a sudden I went on to post something. And I couldn't find it. It says suspended. I have no idea. So, so how do you find out? I have haters. I don't know. I have to, I got to figure that out too. I don't know how to count a suspended before on Twitter. I've never had one. So, but I have uh, haters out there who are always trying to get me. They don't, they don't like, in the soap world, it's like they're so cutthroat in the soap world. You know, you know, you never, you never think like, I don't know anything. About, well, okay. So yeah, I grew up on soaps and so I get it, but don't you think that they should Twitter? I mean, tell you what happened why you're I, it's suspended? well it's, it's uh mr musk that that runs twitter now so things are different i don't know maybe they did tell you back in the day i have no idea he's right he's right no when you find out i must know <laughs> i know eight years of that count see on 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 facebook i was I had one page kept getting canceled they would not let me okay. have it and I don't know why. It's for young the for young the restless. I'm like, somebody reporting the page. It's they hate me that much. And I asked Young and the Restless. I actually went to them and said, Is it you guys? Oh no, we love your page. It's fine. So I work with them. And so I can't have a Y on our page. I tried like 10 different times. And they somebody keeps reporting it. And Facebook just takes it down. And I'm like, that I have other pages, but that's so uh, I can't have a page for that that particular show. I guess not. I guess not. Who knew that there were actually rules? Because all you hear about in the media is like they're they don't follow any of the rules. <laughs> well, I tell you, um, I got I got flagged on TikTok once recently for inappropriate language. I'm like, I said crazy. <gasps> no. Yep. 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 That's it. Yep. I said crazy. That's okay. literally what they flagged and said, you can't post for like 30 days. So I'm like, wow. I understand you're trying to stop hate speech and things like that. But either you have a, either either it's a bot or it's some, I, mean, I don't know what's going on. Like, is that a real person? Because if they saw the context, it wouldn't. Right. So. Well, if you listen to the news, AI is going to take over everything anyway. So. I was just going to bring it up. That's how Melissa, uh, Melissa and I are in sync. Uh, because chat she, CPT or GPT or whatever the fuck that shit is. And then uh, AI. It's To me, it's scary because I, I knew nothing about it. I remember that movie back in the day with, was by Steven Spielberg and Stanley Kubrick. I didn't like it. But I, I know what AI was. I'm like, why is my AI? And then so it's James, you need to learn about because you're in the you're in the creation business. You create. You create stuff. And I was like, okay. And one person sent me this article, and I was like, oh, dang. And then now, all of a sudden, this one of my friends, I don't have it up here anymore, sent me an example of chat, well, what do you call it, GPT, CBT, PCP, whatever it's called. Sent me an example where he typed in, is that left? I don't know. Wait no. Right. I had flashing going on over oh. here because my web browser was open, and it was distracting me. <laughs> I was like, who's there? I got, like, I can see. I'm like, who's there? I no, if I go this way, it's my monitor. If I go this way, it's less. Oh, okay. There you go. That makes sense. Okay, that makes three, sense. and I have to look up. <laughs> and if you look down, it's the dog. That's right. I remember that. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Down the my dog. My baby, Kima. I got to know. Say good morning, Kima. Say good morning. Good morning. So down the dog, middle part is, is blinking, and top is less. Got it. Got it. Okay, now I got no. it. I know, but anyway, so by so, but they sent me this this one page bio that AI yeah. created of me, and it's beautiful. yeah, it's beautiful. Yeah. I'm like, I'm that good. Yeah. I did, I do all that. And it was it was just like wow. Yeah, it's, it's a little scary. I was in a, I was in a professional business meeting, and somebody we 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 had to come up with three or four lines to describe something that was important to us. Okay. And one of the gentlemen stood up and he he basically asked chat GPI 
to describe the meeting organization. And it wrote four beautiful sentences and we were blown. Like we were like, damn, he's got game. He came up with that. And he goes, no, it's this chat. Oh my God. And all I said was tell me about provisors in four sentences or less. And it was beautiful. And he did that in the matter of like two minutes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. But I just wonder what that means for humans. I know the art world were just we're the robots are coming. Though. The robots are coming. I know. And some places there are actually robots running around doing stuff. Yeah. I, I just know that for the for the art community, for the arts community, it's scary because you can like I'm I'm seeing things where you right. take Michael Jackson's voice and put it on a Queen song or whatever. Like you're like, okay, that's crazy. But I know for but I wonder what it would do for your workforce. Um, would it with like underwriters and things like would you need them? Would you need certain folks? You still do. I mean, there's there have you chatted with a chat bot at your <laughs> yes, I have. Um, as the technology progresses, I would imagine it would be more intuitive. But I got a call, Medicare is calling me. I'm not of age. I'm not even approaching, and you know this because we are the same age. <laughs> yes, I keep yes. getting this call. And it's a, it's a bot, and they make her sound like she's on the other phone. Now it took me half a second, okay, admittedly, and I'm like, oh, this is much better than the bots before who would yes. call you. And she's like, because I I pause because I don't know who what this phone number is. She's like, are you there? Hello. I'm like, oh hi, can I help you? This is so and so from Medicare. I'm like, oh, they got me again. <laughs> I'm getting that but, from a person for a, a lender company is calling me. It's this chick, and I'm like, I never, I never called you. I don't want. I'm not asking for any money. And it's like, hi, it's Kelly from you know American Lenders and blah blah. And it's and it's and at first it does sound real. It but does it's, sound real. It's not. It's not. So that, but that's the idea of it. Is it's not meant to be. It's not meant to replace the real person. It's meant to to make what we do better. That, that's how I see artificial intelligence. Now there's a whole shady part. <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. That's the part that I'm You and I don't even, like, we don't, we don't even know what's really <laughs> happening. <laughs> but for songwriters, for example, like yourself, okay? They're up in arms about it because the argument is, look, I can say write a song about raindrops or birds or something and love and challenge, and it will write a song. So they're all saying, look, AI is not going to replace songwriters. There's a human element that you cannot replace. I hope so. I hope so, I hope so too. <laughs> yeah, I think you say, you're, we're time stamping this. This is what Melissa said, and like a year later, I have no job. So the thing is, I just, I'm just like... I'm like, Melissa, give me a job. No, uh, I'm just like, um, I, I know you, I know you would, but that's that's another story. That's another story. If I can't work for you. You love for me to work, come work for you. Um, oh my god, you'd be a good boss. We'd be great. Be you'd be a good boss. We have a good time. <laughs> but that's beside, that's beside the point. That's beside the point. Um, but no, I mean, my thing is the other scary part is I, like my friend said, you could go and say write a song like so and so in the style yes. of so and so. So now it's like we got these laws in place that you can't be like. Write a song like Sondheim. Then it's like, well, then you're copying Sondheim. You're not really creating a personal song. It's like it's not, it's not mean it's he was first. And so it's kinda of, so that's the part there. And they said movies. Well, I don't think have you seen some of those online some of those deep fakes? There's a guy who goes by deep fake Tom Cruise. He looks like Tom Cruise, but it's an it's an AI gener it's this whole generated thing. Yeah. He looks like Tom Cruise. They have, they have these people that they have these stories where they create these pictures and videos that are not true. They look so <laughs> real, and they're already because I because you know there's times when like, I'm a Star Wars fan, you know I'll I'll be on YouTube and all of a sudden a trailer comes up. In the old days, I mean, some of them look kind of real, but some of them look a little cheesy. You're like okay, that's obviously fan made. Some of them, I'm like, I wish that was a story. I'm like, that's, that's good. I want. Them. Can we make that, please? I mean, it's 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 a little. It's a it's. You're right. It's kind of fascinating, but it's a little scary. And I'm like, and the other day I was Very at, scary. I was at California Pizza Kitchen, speaking of robots, and a robot comes by to deliver our food. Yeah. I mean, oh, they, yeah. They have a, they they have a Maria's Italian kitchen too. 
Isn't that crazy? I, yeah. I, I didn't I didn't expect that. So I'm sitting there, Flo, our buddy Flobo, I'm sitting there. I was like doing something where I was sudden, and then all of a sudden, I'm like, ee, ee. I'm like, what's that? No, oh my God, hi. And then it's like, has a tray, and it's like, he goes, your food. I go, uh, well, hi, yeah. or ma'am, or whatever you are. I'm like, I'll just take my food. I mean, it was the weirdest. I was like, and then, and then it just kind of backs up, and then they got stuck in the corner. It's like, ee, ee. I said, that's, even, that's the problem. You got stuck in the corner. There you go. I mean, there you have it. But yes. that was really bizarre. I was like, I did not expect that. And there's a few going down the street I see sometimes here and there. I just I don't know what they're doing, but they're I like, are we the Jetsons already? Like oh, flying cars? Like, well, see, now that's cool. Flying cars. Yeah, yeah, flying cars. Cool. Okay. Like I would totally sign up. To oh my god. Let's, 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 let's all be there in five minutes. I was gonna put like yeah, go to <laughs> I'm like, screw this traffic. You know, just go up and you, you shoot off. I know that part. I'm for tubeless. I'm, I'm for, for a flying car. That's all. I'm flying. Give me, a, give me a flying car I can fit in, please, folks. I'm a big, I'm a long, big car. Right. Traffic. Yeah, let's not make them for just skinny people, please. Exactly. exactly. That's what smart cars were at first. I need something a little larger. But yeah, I, if I could like just say, okay, I'll be there in 10, like really be there in 10 minutes in LA. I'll be there in 10 yeah. minutes. He's like, fly traffic, you just go up and yeah, but I can get a little messy in LA. I can say getting messy in LA too at some point. Everybody trying to. Yeah, everything <laughs> everything is messy. Everything <laughs> is messy, and I think that the 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 idea of um, pride of work, yes, pride of product, is going to really be um, you know changed. We won't recognize it because just what you're talking about. When you write a song, you pour everything into it. Yes. It lives and breathes through you in a sense yes. because you created it. And what's it going to feel like when all the songs are written by un not human beings and are we going to accept it? And I think that's the big thing is like, I think AI is great in certain applications for certain parts of our lives, but I don't want it to be in everything yeah. that we see and touch I don't mind the robot running around the house, vacuum up my floor. I don't have one. I want the one, rumba, but I don't the rumba, the are rumba. expensive, actually. They are, yes. Um, but I want, I would, that's my idea of robotics and not, and robotics making cars, right? But you still have the human element there working alongside machinery. So, this artificial intelligence that you and I can say, we weren't there, but look, we're there. Like, how does that make sense? Mm -hmm. That's really scary. And if you're if you're a public figure, I am not a public figure. I don't have to right. worry about it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like, imagine what it would be like. And if somebody gets pissed off at you, all of a sudden you were you were out with another man. And, and there, somebody's going to really start creating problems for you in your life because they can artificially generate your image in a photo yes. and post it and yes. put it out there. Yep. Good luck, people. Yeah, not, really. I mean. married. Mm -mm, not happening here, but I feel for y'all out there. <laughs> it's Scary so stuff. Funny. It's so funny how my brother and I told this the other day, how technology advances faster than the human side of things like we like we we usually have things that advance and then we have to catch up and like we have to catch up with law but well, you know it's an insurance you gotta catch up in laws regulations like the thing happens first or yes. heading that direction first then we gotta like catch up and like catch up and go okay we got this we gotta put these in place get something in place because um because i mean on some level it's great we evolve evolution happens and there's like progress and so that part is I, I agree with you on some level. Yes, that's great. And but we always we have to we always have to catch up though. It's like it doesn't it doesn't happen at the same time. It's like we have to like you know something like we're streaming. Just like say just say for example, streaming streaming happened. I remember when, I first, when Netflix first decided to go into that. I remember they were they were the, they were the handheld DVD people where you send back in, and everybody was saying it's like oh they're doing that okay. And what's streaming like? Well, like I remember my brother just going, I wonder if this will get big or not. We'll cut to you like seven years later, and, it came, and nobody watches TV anymore. Everybody watches streaming. You know, it's, it's just like it's it's, and now people, have, mm -hmm. now, people now TV is having a problem with that, and now we're on strike in Hollywood because of it. It's like we have, we have to play catch up to like, like it's progress is great, 
I love streaming service. I mean, they they play all kinds of stuff. I love it. Um, but it's it's but then there there there's that you're right. There's that human element. And see, the thing is, I noticed also. I've noticed this also. Um, was um online when you're trying to reach a customer service person for something you need, you can barely find one. They're all chatbots. There's no phone number listed on on websites anymore. It's happening. That's becoming more and more common. I, um, being in the insurance business, I'm always trying to find people, um, do a deal, get an exception made, whatever the case may be. Um, and where I notice it most is on car finance companies. So I'm trying to find the insurance address because they have different departments for different things. Yes. And I need to make sure the insurance document gets to the right department so my client doesn't have a problem. Well, good luck trying to find contact us here, 800, you know, call me. Uh, I have to dig so deep in, and it's amazing. I know. Once you get a hold of people, they're available. Hmm? <laughs> It's yeah, no, it's crazy. I, you know, I, I, when my mother was um, recovering, and we were, and we were finally handling my stepfather's finances to switch over to her. She's. It was funny. I did this experiment. I said I do it all the time. So I'm on speakerphone, so she can. Well, we both can hear. And they, they come on, blah blah blah. I go, Hi and good morning. How are you? And all of a sudden, be silence. So they, yeah. oh, I'm, I'm fine. Thank you for asking. Blah blah. blah. And. I go, they have a script. A lot of times when you finally reach someone, but then, but then if you talk to them just nicely, no, they're like, oh, okay. And then I, she's like, everything we did change went smooth today. I go, I know. I said, because I added that human element in there. It caught them off guard. They didn't know what to do. I go, okay, Miss Kelly, how you doing? We were doing this. We had to talk to Iowa. They ordered my mother's food, um, her diabetic food. And I was like, okay, Miss Kelly, blah, blah, blah. I love Iowa. I, I go there, uh, Des Moines, Iowa, and I'd love it. And we just, I mean... Like you said, when you finally get to someone because it's not as common anymore, yeah. it's like, they're like, oh, okay. And I'm like, we'll throw an extra cup of these. Sure, for a homegirl. Throw something in for me too. You know, like this. I mean, it's like, it's, <laughs> but you have to dig through the annals of history to find a number that might possibly, you know, it might be an eight, it might be an 877 number or 800 or 888 or whatever. But if you find them and get through. Yeah. Well, it's, you know, and people are, people have changed. Um, I'll tell you a quick story. Please. I have a client um, and she's in the business and she's very busy. Okay. Okay. So when she comes to me and asks me to quote her auto insurance, that was all she thought had to happen. I said, I don't even know what kind of car you drive. Oh, it's like, it's like, yeah, it's not data. Oh, I don't have time for this. <laughs> We're not there yet. Right, <laughs> like, yeah. I don't, you know, I can't look you up somewhere, which by the way, just saying people don't want that. Right. right. So the idea that you can call a service provider and say, Hey, give me something, but I don't have time to give you any data. Uh, how is that going to work? Like that doesn't work. But people's expectations are they can literally call and say, "Hey, just take care of this for me." I'm like, "Well, no, you're in it." Like I, but mm -mm. right, yeah, what data? I, I still I, need the data. I hear that a lot too sometimes in my business where if I'm helping someone, I'm hired for something, just handle it. Like, but there's still I still need some information for you. I need some participation from you. That's what it is. That's the word. You yes. need some. You need some participation. You need some participation. Yeah, oh, I like participatory <laughs> between you and that person. I was like, get out, take it out. The coffee's, the coffee's working. The coffee's working. James um, is using his big words today. My big words say, thank you, thank you. I have degrees, thank you, thank you. Um, but no, and but they forget that because you're right. They're getting used to the point of just like press a button. Oh, you're used to do. Yes. Like, I don't want to do everything. I gotta, especially my organizing business too. I'm like, um, it's your house still, so I can't yeah. just come in and. Just do it. I mean, because I'm like, then you'll know, you won't know nothing. You won't know where nothing. You won't know. I mean, I don't even know how you like I had it. another client say to me yesterday. <laughs> so, where we're getting spoiled is where technology is intersecting in industry. So, I have a client who says to me, We made a change on, on one of her policies. 
and it was like the day before. So it's now tomorrow. She's, and I said, oh, the document is not available yet. She goes, what do you mean it's not available? We did it yesterday. Isn't it instant? It is for some companies. Right. And I work with both kinds of companies. But with this one, it's not. <laughs> Sorry. And it was like, she was so irritated by the of fact course. that it wasn't there immediately. Now, you and I both know wasn't that long ago, as I'm talking, I'm sorry, Ryman, where sometimes where we work with companies where it takes a week. Back yeah. in the day. Remember back in the back of the day, it would take a week or sometimes two. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. To get the stuff together. And you, you sat and you waited mm -hmm. until it came back. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Not anymore. Like, yeah. Oh, fa oh, my God. Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Hey, <laughs> they, they, their phone's off. Your phone's off the hook. Can you put the phone back <laughs> on the back chain? I mean, like, seriously, <laughs> seriously with something like it's like these people have no idea where we came from. Yeah. Like, it's, 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 I mean, it's not that. I mean, seriously, there are people that just like you're like they just they're so everybody's used to quick, fast, and hurry. As we always call it. They used to just like because in some cases, I'm not sort of crying, I'm laughing because it's so funny about my fax machines, but that's it's the truth. Yeah, it's like you had to wait till the fax yes. out there. I, I didn't get all the pages. Can you, can right. Can you refax? Yes. Or, or, oh my God, the one that I would have, I used to work at, when, I, when it was IBA West, I remember I had to fax things to serve people for a CE. And like the yes. fax them, <laughs> and the first part would come out great, clear, then it just trailed off. I'm like, I need the, that's the, that's the part I needed. Like, I need that last page. He tried, try it again. It's just, I mean, it's just, it's just, I don't know, I'm just got the giggles now. Um, but that's, a, we went through some stuff, Melissa. These people don't know, hey, they don't know how it is. And there's obviously trauma there. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm like, oh my God. I'm just like, it just, I mean, I mean, nothing I was. I remember James standing by the fax machine waiting, waiting. And I, <laughs> yes. my whole body is tensing <laughs> up. And it's like, why isn't it coming yet? Yes, exactly. I mean, because because now I even got spoiled with the whole scanning so through email i guess i started getting excited i was like well i can scan through email like that was exciting but like but before we could even do that yes oh so yes i had to i mean i said because and i used to deal with oh my god because i dealt with like 20 i dealt with like 30 something states at one point because i was doing all those conferences ce yeah you did and sure some of, them, yeah. some of them smaller states i don't know what kind of equipment they had we're like, oh well, we're not in, and we we leave at two in the afternoon, and uh, yeah. you know, so so if you can if you can fax, I'm like, but you're like three hours ahead of me. I don't really have to fax it, um, and I'll get in early. I'll get out. You know, my ass will be in that. In yeah. that oh early. yeah. The fax that or stuff over. Oh, you know, we got to talk to this uh, secretary of state, and we'll be back for that. I'm like, oh my god, and yeah, like just like, yeah, we had to wait for stuff, and people people waited. I mean, you, you had to wait till it was yes, but not people anymore. Waited. Anymore. Not anymore. They went no. Now. <laughs> I hate fax machines. I and recently I had to fax. <laughs> I recently had recently had to fax them. I go, I can't like scan it and put it in in my no, we need a physical copy. And I said what? what? They go, you can send it in, but it might take you like three weeks or like it's like so like some out like six months before you get it back. But if you, if you fax it, you know, it takes two weeks. I'm like, what? So I just so we so James had to find a, a place that faxes, uh, which was um, where did I go? It was a UPS. You store. know what, James? Next time, send it to me, and I will fax it for you. Thank you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> we have a desktop fax. <laughs> oh, you do, you do? Oh my god. Yeah, I have the machine right over there, but. We don't have the the modem, the old connection. Oh my god! Yeah. Online. Yes. So we incorporated it through our VoIP telephone system, and we have a desktop fax, I guess. I don't I know. Whatever. That. Let's make it work. <laughs> That's like that oh, just yeah. I just yeah. I won't even. I won't even talk about what back in the day. Uh, um, Xeroxing and making copies like all that kind of stuff and mimeographs. I don't get me started on that stuff when I was a, when I was a teenager. That's all the story. So is it true? Because all the throwback office movies will have that moment where you're standing by the coffee machine and you pick up that stack of paper and you go, "Yes." <laughs> oh yes. 
I did that. Did you I did do too. that? I did too. I did too. <laughs> I did I that. Saw- I used to love carbon paper. That was like my thing. My hands y'all messy. I and hated I, carbon paper. I loved it. I loved it. I loved carbon paper. They say these kids say if you show them carbon paper, they don't even know. They wouldn't even know what that is. They wouldn't even know what that is. I know, and I'm glad that they don't. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't write cursive anymore. They didn't write anymore. No. It's, it's, it's XO stuff. That's all they, they they type them. They code. That's all they do. They didn't, they didn't write anymore. I was like, my my grandkids don't even know what cursive is. I'm like, you don't even know what cursive, do you? No, no, no. Okay. They sign stuff. In, they sign stuff in in writing. Yeah, they don't even sign it. I mean, I sign things all. You know, whatever. They sign it. Just they sign it in writing. I have a squiggle. Boop, boop, boop. That's it. I, I did a big J. And I did a big L. And I did a big J. J. Everything else is little. <laughs> <laughs> so, folks, this is coffee and conversation with James and Melissa. Episode 56, uh, we're going to be 57 next. So we're, getting, we're getting there. We're heading towards 100. Uh, we are on all streaming search platforms. We are on YouTube at the granddaddy of them all. Ha, ha, ha. JLJ Media. Uh, follow us there. New episodes on Tuesdays. We changed our date to Tuesdays. Folks are liking the one we just put out today, so I'm very happy about that. We're back. But we are back. I am Black, and we'll see you next time. <laughs> <laughs>